My name is John Peavy. I'm a senior history major from Knoxville, Tennessee. As a first generation college student, picking a school was really important to me. And, uh, you know, I applied to places all over the country um, and I got into a lot of places. It was a really exciting time. But I think Rhodes just gave me everything that I needed. Provide some backdrop for the international scene. Uh, would anyone want to dispute that there were? I decided to be a history major because it's just a really interesting subject that kind of intertwines almost all the disciplines that you would get at a liberal arts college. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to take the LSAT uh, and then I'd like to apply to you know multiple law schools all over the country and hopefully get into some of them. Uh, that's, the, that's the plan. So, so let me I've always wanted to take a formal voice lesson. I haven't really worked on my voice classically since I was in high school choir. And so I started taking it, and Professor Albert's just been, you know, just great. He's been a blast. Uh, he does a lot of like unconventional things as far as my singing has gone in the past. I mean, he's really helping me expand my range. Wool Sox is the male acapella group on campus. We sing different performances throughout the semester, and I mean, it's always just a blast. But I can say, Woo! say like some of my best friends here I've made in that group. Since I came into Rhodes I've been doing community service and my primary service has been with the Memphis homeless population and then I've coordinated just about every other service organization that connects Rhodes students to the homeless here on campus at one point in time. During my tenure as coordinator I work primarily with cooking the food, getting the meals out. And so nowadays when I show up, I like to just kind of sit out in the large group and talk to the people that are there and get to know them. But you got to put up with me for another year. <laughs> Can you do that? Wait, wait, you know? It's hard to really be an advocate for people when you don't know what their story is or what they really need. I realized that there's a lot more that you can give somebody than just like food. Sometimes what people really need is a friend. They need somebody to talk to. They need a conversation, somebody that they can trust that doesn't want anything from them. I just really identified with the, this common humanity that we all shared and I couldn't see roads at all without my work here in the community. As a road student, you know, I'm normally just really busy, but me and a couple of my good buddies run out to Shelby Farms and then we play a lot of frisbee golf out there. It's like probably where I get the most centered because it's just an easy place for me to blow off steam and kind of let loose and just hang out. Memphis has shown me, you know, this is something that you really do care about. This is where your passion lies. And I never really would have had that if I hadn't come here. I was told that I would have ample opportunities to be a service scholar, which is one thing that was really important to me. And I think that Rhodes has been really true to their word as far as all those things go. It gave me a community, it gave me a, a ton of friendly faces to see every day. They've given me the chance to be really successful here and I've tried to make the most of it and I think that it was a great decision.